Hello and welcome to the Betfred Rugby League podcast. What a weekend of rugby league. Jamie Peacock is alongside me, of course, nine grand final wins and currently the head of rugby at Hull KR. And we'll be talking about Hull KR because the whole derby is back. Jamie, how are you doing? First of all, though, one place to start, Huddersfield have got rid of Rick Stone. Yeah, it's uh, sad to see. Uh, coach loses his job so early. Um, in the league, I think he, he had poor form really going in, into this season and the results don't stack up this year and I think Huddersfield have decided to make the decision now rather than later to try to avoid the middle eights. Uh, just two wins out of seven, but as, as you alluded to, last season, inconsistent as well. Yeah, it was inconsistent. And I'll tell you what, uh, being in, in and around the game, you hear a lot of rumours about the players being unhappy, the players having unrest with his style of coaching. Now, if that's the case, and that's one of the reasons why he's, he's left the club and, and the board have decided to leave him, well, those players need to stand up now and show and make sure it was the right decision. And what a chance for him to stand up with uh, Leeds at home. Yeah, typically they play well against Leeds. Um, I know from my time playing at Leeds that, that Huddersfield used to raise the game for that. And, and now it's the time for them to stand up. If the rumours are right, as one of the reasons why Rick has gone has been player power, then those players need to uh, stand up in this Easter game. Tell us about the Easter weekend then. Plenty of people will be watching this right now don't know how important and how big the Easter weekend is to rugby league. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge as uh, rugby league players. It's huge as a uh, rugby league community. You, you, the players get to play twice in um, four days. And also, you do play three games in eight days. So it's a chance to collect six points and make a real difference in the league. And at the moment, the league's really tight from you know, second to bottom to second to the top. There's not much difference in points. But coming eight days' time when three games will have been played, there'll be a big difference. As a player, it's brutal. There's no, there's no getting away from it. It's really difficult to be involved in. The first game is always a derby or an emotionally intense game. Four days later, you've got to pick yourself up. Uh, three days later, in most cases, you've got to pick yourself up and get ready to play again. Uh, and trust me, when you, when you turn up at the ground to play on Monday, you are still sore. But the best players have the best attitude and just think, look, let's get on with it. We're all feeling this way. Let's go out there and win the game. I know it's a squad game to an extent, but plenty of the players will be playing on a Friday and then playing again on Easter Monday. How do you do that in this, what is a proper contact physical sport? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think if you're a spectator watching, applaud the skill on a Friday and explore, uh, applaud the mental toughness of the guys on the Monday because it really is difficult. I know from my time, I just used to try living in an ice bath for three days, <laughs> then pull myself out of the ice bath and get ready to play on the, on the, on the Monday. And once you get a little bit warmed up in the warm-up, uh, mind over matter and just conquer it and get through it. And then obviously the game after that is also difficult because you play again in another four or five days' time. Well, round eight is about local rivalries, and Thursday night it's Wakefield versus Castleford, which is a huge game. And Castleford, after that awful start against St Helens, have really turned it around. Four wins on a bounce now, Cass. Yeah, th that was a blip. I think that game was uh, for Saints was a hangover from the Leeds Grand Final. Uh, I'm excited about this game. I I'm really excited about this weekend's fixtures again. Looking at them, and I think this is going to be the best round of Super League uh, so far. The players will rise to the occasion, and I think this is a great game going into it. I mean, you've got the local dark but you've got a local rivalry. Wakefield, I think, need to beat a team who are in the bottom four. I think they're well capable of doing it. They've got a big set of forwards. They're well coached. They move the ball around well. But you say the same about Castleford. They're excellently coached. They move the ball around really well. And they've got one of the best players in the competition in Luke Gale. How big a performance is that against Leeds for 25-24? Huge. Absolutely huge. I, I know they'll be very disappointed with the second half but people were asking questions about Castleford after the Saints defeat after the Leeds defeat in the grand final this year are they the real deal and I think in that game they've gone some, somewhere back to getting their reputation back as one of the front runners in Super League uh, On Friday St Helens versus Wigan and I know there's plenty of St Helens and Wigan fans in our office they hate each other, don't they, when it comes to this fixture? <laughs> you know what? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. There is that uh, bitter rivalry between the two sides. But I think this could be the game of the year so far. Yeah, I just look at the form of both sides. I uh, look at the quality of... Uh, players in both sides. The both teams have got players that make things happen. People that make you sit on the end of your seat but also the two good sides. Very well coached, good defensively, good with the ball in the hands. If you're going to watch one game this weekend and you can't get to it and you can watch it on the TV, this is the game for me. And I know it's early days, this is first versus second as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, without a doubt. I, I think these two at the beginning of the season will have been disappointed with 2017. Uh, they both wanted to make the grand final, didn't make it. The sides that expect success and that will 
will have fueled their pre-season. Now you can see that with the way they're playing at the moment, and it's just a mouth-watering class. First is first is second. Local rivalries. What more do you want? Okay, well let's hear from the St Helens coach, Justin Holbrook. Out of all the teams, they, they look the most dangerous, you know, and they've been playing really well. So, you know, they've only had the one loss themselves. So, I think it all uh, shapes up for a great game on Friday. Look, we just prepare as we normally do every other week for that game. And then, as you said, we'll only have two days to, to prepare for our next one against Widnes. But I think all you can do, and then we play again the following Friday. So, all you can do is, is like you would any other week, one game at a time. So, we'll prepare best we can for, for Wigan on Friday and, and then uh, have a short turnaround to play Widnes. Sets coach Justin Holbrook talking to Betfred TV. Prediction and for Saint, you've said it's going to be the game of the season so far, but prediction? I'm going to go Saints just with home advantage by two points. Very, very tight game, very close game, an exciting one. That's live on Sky as well as JP said. If you watch one game this weekend, watch Saints versus Wigan. Fingers crossed it'll be an absolute cracker. Uh, kicking off at midday on Friday, Salford versus Catalan. Salford be gutted for that last 10 minutes against Widnes. Yeah, they, well, they, they, they fell away. It's a game they should have won. Um, they've got particularly poor away form and that would have stopped that. They'd have got the W back in the category in, in, the, in the away form. They know they can win. They know they can um, win at home. They've been good at home. It's a difficult place for people to go play. So I, I fancy them in this game. And uh, on uh, Friday afternoon, live on Sky as well, 12.50 kickoff. The Hull Derby is back and you're the uh, head of rugby at Hull KR. Are you ready for it? Uh, I think the players and Is the city ready? The city's more than ready, trust me. Uh, I didn't realise how big this game was until I moved um, you know, to be head of rugby in Hull, uh, Hull KR. And it's just huge in the city. It is a big rivalry. OK, we've played each other a couple of times in friendlies, but this counts for real. Everyone's talking about it in the city. We're ready to play. I'm sure FC are ready to play as well. And it's fantastic that this game's back on the Super League calendar. Uh, you've won two so far this season. Performances at times have been better than that. Can you get something against a bit of rivals then? Yeah, we certainly believe we can. We, we know we're up against a good side. There's no doubt about that. FC are a good side, but we believe our best performance, you see what we can do. And if we bring our A game, there's definitely every chance of us winning it. I've been in and around training this week. The lads look like they're in a good mood, look relaxed, focused and, and ready to play well. A few injuries though? Yeah, we've had some head knocks. We've had some head knocks. You know, obviously, uh, George Lawler um, suffered a horrific injury at the weekend. His, op his operation has come out of that. Okay, and we're just waiting on people to come through the head tests at the weekend. I mean, it was like a battlefield um, in the dressing room after the game against St. Helens, but we managed to get a couple of players back, so I think we'll be good come Friday. Uh, we've touched on Huddersfield already. They entertain Leeds. I mean, what a game to get the Huddersfield players up for. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with... Look, I'm a, I'm a Leeds lad, and I think Leeds have been performing very well this year. Um, certainly the last two games, you know, beat St. Helens only just lost to Cusford. But I think this third game's one game too far for them. I think the Huddersfield Giants players at home in this fixture will raise up, and I, I think you'll see the underdog win this day against the Rhinos. And finally, one game we've not spoken about. Uh, Warrington just beginning to turn things around a bit now, aren't they? They've won four, entertain Widnes. And again, I think Widnes... Uh, have been a little unlucky in a couple of their games. Yeah, you could say that about both sides. I'd agree with you. I think if we go right back to round one, Warrington won that far off against Leeds. Brian Atkins scores in the corner. Um, I think they go on and win that game. And I think they've steadily improved under Price. And what you've got to remember, it's not just 13 new players they've got. They've got all new backroom staff. It's going to take time to gel. And you can have all the pre-season you want. You need to be out there playing to really fix anything up. And I think Witness have been good. Witness have been good value for money this year. They're well coached by Dennis Betts. And I see this game being another real tight game. But I think home advantage is key in Derby's and Warrington will win this one. OK, well, let's hear from the Warrington coach, Steve Price. Yeah, they've got a, you know, they've got a, a big roster. Um, you know, they've got a great captain in Chris Houston who you know, sets really good standards. And having been involved in Chris, I know what top player he is. So, um, you know, they've got a really good uh, halfback in Joe Miller who's doing a really good job for them. Um, they've got a you know, really a tidy edge back row. And also, too, they've got <coughs> you know, some good attacking flair, especially around uh, you know, their centre combination. So it's important that um, you know, defensively we're going to have to be really sound and a, and a big improvement uh, from last weekend's game. Steve Price talking to Betfred TV there. Uh, very quickly, fancy Warrington win then? 
Yeah, I think Warrington can just edge his game. I think home advantage is important in derbies, and they've got the home advantage. Come on in. Sell the Betfred Super League to me this Easter weekend. Well, I think you're going to, you've are gonna got a chance of seeing your team play twice in the space of three days. You're going to see some local derbies, you're going to see some passion on show, and you're also going to see some of the best athletes, I believe, in the world of sport, and also some of the toughest, mentally toughest athletes in the world of sport. So get out there, enjoy the sun, and watch a couple of games this weekend. Yeah, there we are. And if you are having a bet, please keep it fun and gamble responsibly. Thanks so much to Jamie Peacock. Enjoy the Betfred Super League. Two games over Easter. Fingers crossed we'll have some crackers.